Welcome back to my Sling TSI build update. Uh, this is uh, a 1500 hour update. I'm actually a bit past 1500 hours, but I wanted to show my progress and talk about a, a few things that have slowed me down a little bit. And my dog is wandering around the hangar today. Um, so I've gotten the flaps and the ailerons all rigged to spec. All the jam nuts, everything is torqued and torque sealed. The elevator back there is rigged and uh, jam nuts finished up. Everything's torque sealed. Um, everything in here, all the rigging is done. So I've got everything torqued and jam nuts and all that. The only issue that I'm having is I have been unable to get my elevator trim tab to get anywhere remotely within spec. So um, I have requested um, a new skin. I have mangled this thing and rebent it. And it's just, I, if it's flush here, it's five degrees down over here. <laughs> I, can't, I cannot get it straight. Um, and now it's just a deformed mess. So um, anyway, I it when I first built it a year and a half ago, it looked bad. But after I tried to rig it, I realized just how bad it was when I, you know, started putting my little angle meter on it. I just it just was terrible. And so then I started manipulating it even more, and uh, I decided it's just I, I got to see if I can get a better produced part from Sling. So uh, anyway, so that's, that's uh, something I'm gonna have to work on. Um, I put this in place just to kind of see how it fit and it's, uh, it fits well, I'm, I'm happy with that, but I haven't started installing it yet. Um, I had this little thing, this is just a little like a, a patch with Velcro on the back that I put here. And then uh, I did the, uh, experimental patch. I had it made by a local embroidery shop. Some others have done that. I liked that. I have my oxygen system completely installed and uh, plumbed and, and tested and everything's operational. Um, I went ahead, I'm gonna have my paint shop paint on um, a painted wing walk, but I busted it. I was wearing socks out here one night and just about killed myself. So I went ahead and stuck the sling provided ones on to get me through my 40 hours and whatever time between that and my getting getting the plane to the paint shop. And then the same here, I'll have the no step painted on. So this, this is the sling provided sticker. Um, I have had a lot of uh, neighbors and family who have wanted to climb up in here and see the plane. So. Uh, I thought that might protect things. I got all the carpet done um, in the uh, plane. So the uh, a lot of it is on the, uh, the little inspection covers and the uh, cover plates um, that I'll install over the next few days. The side panels are just sitting there. I haven't uh, started getting them mounted. Um, I decided a long time ago to, to mount my ELT antenna here. I've seen a lot of people do that. In fact, Midwest Sky Sports, I think that's sort of their standard. Um, there is a, a uh, ELT mast, like a raked back. It looks just like the main COM1 antenna that you can put in front of it. Um, but I, uh, because I have the I have my plane is does not have a parachute, but it's got the cables. Uh, right where I need to mount that is where the cable tray is, and I just wasn't sure how that would work. So I decided to just mount the ELT antenna here, and I, I made a little aluminum part myself. It's just a, a little piece of, it's just a, a little bracket, and I just riveted it in actually last night. Um, and then I put a piece of, uh, clear plastic hose over the antenna just to uh, kind of protect it. Um, if it ever does fire off, I don't know that the wattage would be enough to burn anybody, but it'll kind of help protect the, the interior. Um, 
keep it from touching metal and grounding out or anything. Um, we'll see if that stays. But uh, the, uh, the engine, I've still got to re-rig everything. I had um, built all the hoses and everything um, months ago, but I, I took everything off and just kind of pushed it out of the way when I was working on the cowling. Uh, so that's the next big project, but I'm gonna finish the interior first. Um, I got the prop on and the spinner. Um, that, that was actually went on very well. I had no issues at all. Um, so that was kind of nice. But uh, I did a lot of miscellaneous stuff you can't see. I had rivets that, uh, you know, needed filling um, and sanded. And so I've, I've done some of those little miscellaneous things. Um, you can kind of see the, uh, the, let me zoom in here. I've got the uh, oxygen and then the headset jacks in the back. I um, probably will clean that up a little bit more, but at least for now it's in. But we're getting there. A um, little over 1,500 hours. I, I did a thousand hour video, and if anybody um, wants to go back and review that that hasn't seen it, I talked about some of the upgrades that I've done that have added time to the build. And uh, I, I'll tell you the. Everything you do that's not in the book will add a little bit of time, some more than others. Um, you know, a couple of the big ones, the oxygen system that I just showed you, the upgraded brakes, the upgraded fuel lines, um, the upgraded oil lines, um, you know, extensive avionics, um, you know, nice grips, um, all of that stuff that you upgrade adds a little bit of time to your build. And then I've also discussed previously several times about the fact that I alodined and primed all the interior parts um, and all the inside. So all the, all the ribs and the wings and all the fuselage parts internally are either alodined or primed. And uh, that, uh, that adds some time. So that's, uh, you know, I think the, the factory, you know, for a first time builder, I think they say probably, you know, 1400 hours, I think is sort of their book answer on how long it takes. But uh, for me, I'm at over 1500 um, and I've still got a bit to do. I'm not really sure how long, this is Penelope, my hanger dog here. Um, the, uh, you know, it, it, it just adds some build time. And, uh, and then of course, I'm just, I like to know what I'm doing before I dive in. So I'm a more of a slow and methodical kind of person. So I decided, I went back and forth on whether I was gonna put the steps on. And I decided I am gonna put the steps on. Um, so what I did was I painted this with some really good, my, um, it's a two-part epoxy primer. Um, it's an automotive primer and I actually just, I taped it off and then uh, I, I did a blue outline. You can see, I gotta get the rest of the blue off. Um, the, I taped off the outline of the, where the mounting plate is and actually down there too, you can maybe see that. Um, and then I painted it because once it's installed, the paint shop, I don't want them to have to remove it since this has got stainless steel rivets. So, uh, and I did this because the, the step is steel, this is aluminum, it's gonna have um, stainless steel rivets, uh, which I will also coat with um, an anti-corrosive, um, I can't think of the name of it, but it's a, it's a oily, goopy mess that is designed specifically for dissimilar metals. There's Penelope. Penelope, you wanna say hello? I guess not. Um, but anyway, so I'll get the, uh, the steps mounted today. I, uh, I painted those a couple days ago. Um, and it's probably massive overkill, but that's how I do things. And that's what adds a little bit of time to your build. So anyway, that's sort of it. Um, 
I'll probably do another video. Um, I'm off for the holidays and I'll, I'll probably get some more built and cleaned up and get the seats installed and the side panels installed and we'll, uh, I'll show that off. Um, I've also had a couple little weird issues that are annoying me. Um, I have a, my taxi light won't work and my autopilot won't work via the switch on my panel but I can go into the VPX and turn them on electronically through the circuit breaker. So I have power, everything's connected to the device and I've tested the switch. So I've either, there's evidently a pin has come loose or a wire has come loose um, for the taxi and the autopilot. So that's something I've got to run down um, sometime soon. Um, probably before I put the seats in because I'll have to get up underneath the panel and um, the, the VPX is on, you know, on the right side here. I'll have to get up underneath there and pull out the, the connectors and see if any of the pins came loose or something. I'm hoping it's something easy. Um, but other than that, I haven't had any major hiccups that have uh, really caused me issues other than what I mentioned on the trim tab. So anyway, I, I hope everyone's getting a little build time and a little family time over the holidays and uh, good luck on your builds and take care.